Hey, David here. I'm getting really excited for the upcoming rotator cuff and shoulder pain workshop and want to share something really important with you. Now there's a lot of misunderstandings about what the rotator cuff actually is, so I want to show you. Now imagine an axle going through your shoulder. The rotator cuff helps your shoulder rotate on that axle. So when somebody injures their rotator cuff, they lose that rotation. Here's how it works. The rotator cuff is a group of four muscles, and this particular muscle right here tends to be a problem. Now just imagine this is a right shoulder. This is your shoulder blade. This little extension right here is called the acromion. This is your clavicle or your collarbone. And then this is your humerus or that upper arm bone right here. Now a lot of times where the issue happens is right here in this small space between the acromion and the humerus. Now at the workshop, I'll show you three different ways that tendon can get pinched. In the beginning, it can feel like a tendonitis, but really there could be a partial tear or even a full tear, which sometimes can lead to further issues down the chain. Sometimes even no motion at all in the shoulder. So that's what the rotator cuff is. It's a group of muscles and tendons, and this one tendon in particular, which comes through is just one of that group, but it's all, usually the one that's the most frequently injured. So we'll be covering lots of great natural treatment options and healing options at the workshop, even for a full tear, no medications, injections, or surgery. It's absolutely amazing. I'll see you at the rotator cuff and shoulder pain workshop.